<laughs> oh dear. All right, well, next we have Ninja Masters with an apostrophe. Doesn't mm -hmm. say Ninja Masters what, just Ninja yeah. Masters. Ninja Master is. Al Nipocho. Apparently. Huh. I'm just looking at the Wikipedia on this. Ow. Maybe the game will stop with someone dr dying dramatically, like, it's the Ninja Masters! Oh. And then it just flashes on the screen, Ninja Masters! Have a really, really long death scene. But some oh, being well, killed in wait, multiple look. ways, still yeah, being alive. Yeah, I might actually be correct, look at this. Mm. This doesn't look good. <laughs> Don't worry, he's a protagonist. He has plot armor. Alright, that was a pretty neat little animated intro, so uh attract mode maybe? That was what the game is. Oh, it's our fighting game. No. Oh. Not a fighting game. It seems to be a fighting game where people are wearing relatively realistic time period specific clothing as well. Huh. Right, so uh, let's see. Arcade mode. Okay, they have. Huh. Apparently it has to end with 9. You can't have 60 second rounds, it has to be 59 second rounds. That's a good start. <laughs> Very promising. Well, apparently it's not just punches, it's punch outs. And you can draw a weapon and... and it's lever again. Come on, it's a joystick. Neo Geo right. developers were in That's denial. Sick. There's a guy here called Crow, so I'm naturally going to play as him. And they start you off with a mirror match. Why? <coughs> looks like an affable fella. And he shoots crows. That's literally <laughs> what he does. He shoots crows from his clothes. Ha ha! Didn't expect that, did you? Crow mode activated. You'd think he would see as he is you. He also apparently like starts tactic. with his sword out, which means that he's probably a bad guy. <laughs> then again, with a name like Crow Eyes, seriously don't see how he could possibly be anything else, so... I like the arena has crows as well. <laughs> it's just like, in case you didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, this is this guy's thing. Right, so far I have to say, this game is not very difficult, and... The inputs are hilariously simple. QM School says I'd be more shocked if he shot crows from his pants. Oh, he even has a crow with the same hairstyle. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Flock of seagulls, crow. And now it's time for a big-eyed little young girl who somehow decides to go up against the horribly murderous madman. Because that's what young women do in that at that age, you know, they go out and pick a fight with insane swordsmen. How do they survive past adolescence? I don't get it. Oh my god, she is so anime. <laughs> Is it required for every female ninja young character to be called Kasumi? Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a common name. <laughs> let's it just seems let's to be fight bare hand for a while type. and see if we can. Oh, hey, here we, here we go. Oh, hey, there's your weapon. This means that you're unarmed, but I have a sword. This is an excellent development. C 
crow attack. <laughs> it could be like the uh, merchant from Resident Evil 4. Because, got some rare things for you, stranger. Crow! <laughs> he just <laughs> opens up and just, he just crows, just launch out at you. What the hell? Oh, hey, it's tits. Uh, I mean, that's right. But we all know that her real name is Tits. There's always a Tits in these games. Surname McGee, right? It's pronounced almost exactly the same. <laughs> oh. She's actually pushing me back. Seems that this is where the game gets serious. Stop doing the crow thing and actually, you know, hit her instead. God damn it. I know that you really like showing your little crow to beautiful women, Karazu, but you have to stop. You have to understand. Well, it could be flipping the bird. Uh oh. Ho ho ho, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Furthering my stream's reputation of being a home of nothing but horrible, horrible puns. <laughs> Long way <may> continue. <laughs> Seriously, you know that a character is definitely not built around sex appeal when her victory animation is basically flailing her arm a bit and then bouncing her tits in your face. I mean, really, is there nothing else about that character that we can use? No? Alright, let's bring in this guy. I'm going to make a wild guess and say that he uses lightning attacks because the uh, word for lightning is in his name. I'll be right back. Hmm. Hello, completely unsurprisingly I was correct. He does in fact shoot lightning from his hands. Who would have guessed? Wow. This lady is going insane on me. Shit. And now she's actually taken out her weapon. Now she's fighting seriously. Oh crap. Here to be suffering heavy thrusting right now. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Yay. What I miss? She actually took out her weapon and then she threw it at me. <laughs> so it's on the ground now. Oh, she picked it back up. Oh, dear lord. She's in some sort of hyper mode. That's. Whoa, whoa. Holy crap. Welp. Hmm. Oh hey, we got a butt shot this time instead. <laughs> Classy game. Classy. Well, it's right. a fighting game. Let's bring in the protagonist. Oh, seriously, this woman is dangerous. It seems that every single one of her basic attacks can be comboed into something else. The purest fighter, sort of, character. Yeah. But what a hardcore would play. Yeah. She basically has little to no actual weapon attacks. But she doesn't need a weapon because her basic attacks are completely in so oh, ow. My forehead. God damn. 
Wow, and she just <laughs> opens the next round by smashing my face in. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Complete lockdown. Um, what? She has a forward moving block. What the hell? She can advance while blocking on the run. Holy shit. That is insane. Mm. <laughs> I was hoping that maybe I could sort of intercept her or something at least, but nope, she just <laughs> ran straight through it. <laughs> and my leg went straight through her body without effect and then she slashed me to death. Wow. Seriously, I'm going to have to play as this girl now to make... just to have a look. Because this is insane. She is brutal. God damn. Okay. I'll say this right away, that wow. Those were some rather simple inputs too. Not that it helps much when she goes into hyper mode and kicks my ass, but you know. Wait, so how do you get into the hyper mode thing? I'm looking I at have the no bars idea. at the bottom. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that is Mash one of my... everything at once. <laughs> that is one of my current main problems, that oh my god, really? That was almost an entire health bar. <laughs> From a single attack, really? God damn it, lady. Why are you so completely superior in every way to everyone else? It seems that she has some sort of ability that she can, she can chain together her basic punches like as if it was a combo attack, which is sort of insane, really. Okay, so that's how you play her. Alright. It's obvious that she's very much a pressure character, but uh, hmm. the problem is that you have to actually make sure that you don't pressure straight <laughs> into the enemy. <laughs> In this case, specifically, I'm very, very fine with just winning on time, because goddamn, she is dangerous, this girl. Oh man, I wonder what the final boss is like. <laughs> Probably with some annoying, annoying, cheesy gimmick. You mad, sis? You mad? <sighs> Glorious cowardice carries the day. <laughs> And now there's a guy who's named after a state in Mahjong. Okay. But since he seems to be some sort of priest, I suspect it's the uh, religious use of the word. Wow, yeah, sure. Ow. Holy shit. <laughs> this guy got some moves. He wouldn't be out of place in a disco. <laughs> Turn over the Saturday Night Fever edition. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the ten ho. Probably it, it probably does sound like a dance they will probably move. Have the s yeah, they will probably have to censor that movie in the US though, because you can't actually have 
the word Ten Ho in the movie title, I think. Oh god. Whoa! Crap. Jumped into it. How are the controls in the wait, game? What? Oh, never mind. The controls are actually fairly good, but uh, wait. I can't quit drinking, particularly after I beat them out. He says to me. <laughs> Um, I don't know how much drinking you do after you beat one out. <laughs> Alright, let's play as Ishikawa Goemon, the legendary thief. Let's, uh, let's see if it's actually based on him. Oh yeah, yeah it is. Okay. Seriously, the first opponent is almost non-threatening. The second sort of teaches you how the game works, and then you reach the third, who is hard as shit, and then on the fourth character forwards you're just sort of expected to be destroyed. It is a very arcade-style progression, honestly. Which isn't that surprising, since it's originally an arcade game. Yeah. yeah. So what's the story, um, the character this guy's based on? Ishikawa Goemon is a historical character who was originally a thief and mercenary and he ended up being boiled alive. Nice. <laughs> because that's what you did with thieves back then. Basically this huge robber hero myth has grown up around him, but there is no evidence that he was pretty much anything else than a very successful bandit. He's sort of like a Robin Hood, only that he actually properly existed. As you probably know, he's also rather popular in games, since he has his own game series as Mystical Ninja Goemon. And he features in the Samurai Warriors games. I believe he has a cameo in one of the S Samurai Showdown games, even? He's everywhere, basically. <laughs> Whoa, okay. So that wasn't actually a gun, it was just... it was a cannon. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Screw your shit, I guess. <laughs> Okay. That's right. it. <laughs> Why not? Why would you fire that into the air? <laughs> because he likes dodging them when they fall down, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's, li it's like it's like ceiling darts, you know. Only when a lot more fires dangerous. Off, everything will be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll just fire sure. my gun randomly in the air and things will work out. No, they won't go on. No, they won't. What are you doing? I'm just gonna fire this upwards. Don't mind me. I mean, people talk about making laws in the US about making it not allowed to actually fire a pistol or rifle into the air for fear of falling bullets. This guy fires flaming cannonballs! Seriously, how irresponsible can you be? Yep, character three, basically. Oh, 
Oh, she used her hyper activation to dodge my punish and then finish me off. Well, that's at least a nice finish. I can't very well try harder. You killed me. You stabbed me in the chest like 15 times. I'm dead. That's not. <laughs> that's not how you're supposed to trash talk. Uh, oh well. Let's try one more character. And we can set the difficulty to maximum. At 99 second round, so no running. And oh, we can play as. Let's see. We haven't seen Unzen at all. He seems to be a blind monk. Blind monks tend to be the. Yeah. Why are the monks in these fighting games always huge? It's ridiculous. They lived on rice and vegetables. You don't really put on 500 pounds of muscle mass from that. It's basically designed to yeah, the monk for some reason. <laughs> I'd hate to see this guy writing with a cannon paper. <laughs> <laughs> and his weapon is a huge hammer. Okay, let's go. Hammer time, baby. We're the Hammer Brothers. We'll show Mario a thing or two, but first we must decide who gets to attack him first. And we decide this by having a no holds barred hammered battle in front of our temple. Uh, what exactly hurt me there? You saw that too, right? I jumped and hit him, and then I bounced off his face and died. Yeah, I saw that. Huh. Looks like he swung at exactly the same time, so... Might you both hit each other at the same time? Maybe? <laughs> Maybe he bit me in the leg. Who knows? <laughs> Just poked you. <laughs> Just got a prod. He sneezed, and my resistance was the resistance was so low that I immediately died of the damage from the disease. Ah, uh, it ain't easy min-maxing. Ninja! Masters! I will be back in just a moment. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, six four. I still haven't figured out the possessive here, seriously. What yeah, will, yeah that's really been bugging to me. The ninja master? <laughs> Maybe that Japanese la bit underneath it can you actually type out what belongs to the ninja master? Or I don't know. Hmm. 